back filming and because she said they just got their van wrapped. We did, we just got it wrapped. Oh my Brand gosh. Brand new, she's looking shiny. That is beautiful, look at that. The same people who did Velma the Veggie Van, yes. who you may have seen around the city. So what is Velma the Veggie Van? Velma the Veggie Van uh, goes around the city and she rescues food from local grocery stores and she helps us deliver meals from local businesses oh. to other local social service agencies. That's so we so work good. with uh, Somerset West Community Health Center, we work with the Pinecrest Queensway Community Health Center, St. Joe's, we work with uh, over 32 social service agencies around the city. Oh my god, you're like the hub, everything comes everything. back to you. <laughs> Velma, wasn't she on uh, like Scooby-Doo, is that where that's from? <laughs> or it just starts with V and so does Veggie, I guess. Yep. I Velma the Veggie Band. She was named by our community. Okay, I like it. Yeah, because I only know this because it was trending on Twitter this week, the old Scooby-Doo movie that's 20 years old. And they were like, look at Velma dancing or whatever. So that's why it's top of mind. I wouldn't have known that other way. But uh, that's good because I'm always worried because you always, you always hear like restaurants and grocery stores, they just throw out their food at the end of the day. So like, much food. No. We keep stats on the amount of food that we rescue from our uh, grocery stores throughout yeah. the city. Uh, we work mainly with Protos Depot and Whole Foods. Yeah. And when we go to pick up our food from them, yeah. we sort through it. We stand there and we pick out the best of the best. Oh, wow. We get rid of anything that's rotten, anything that's past its best of four. Yeah. If it's not good enough for me to eat, it's yeah. not good enough for our community to eat. All right. Well, I'm glad you have high standards because <laughs> pretty much anything's good enough for me to eat, but we wouldn't want people eating. You know, I'll just go look French fries that somebody didn't eat. That's <laughs> it's not a good situation, especially in the days of COVID. Like the things I used to do, oh, I just did. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm already looking at the crumbs of your little cake that yeah, you're giving away. Yeah, we had yeah. amazing strawberry rhubarb cake that was made by our chefs at the Parkdale Food Center. Oh my gosh. Because we host breakfast and lunch oh. for our community members. No oh questions God. asked. You don't have to be low income. If you want or need food, we have it for you. All right, I'm going to come for lunch this week and vlog about it and check it out or hey, whatever. Hey, we're open on Thursdays. All right, Thursday, I'm Thursdays there. At noon. Okay, you're gonna see me well fed. I have a question about rhubarb. I don't know if you're the expert. I might be, we'll see. Okay, so uh, my friend was telling me yesterday uh, she wants to make something rhubarb, and, make, and she's like buying rhubarb at the store, and I said, don't you have some growing in your front lawn? She's like, oh, that's hairy rhubarb. That's not the type you eat. No, just fuzzy rhubarb. Have you heard of, oh, furry, I think she said. Do you know if there's two types of rhubarb? I have no idea, <laughs> yeah. but right. you know who has all the answers? No. Google and Parkdale. Parkdale knows what they're talking about, and our chefs right. at Parkdale have their food handlers. All right. Uh, they know if you have questions, right. I'm sure they can answer them. All right, I'll you. message them, or when I come for lunch, I'll talk to the chefs and Google if you're listening, because I know you've become sentient. That was in the news <laughs> this week. I'm just, I, I love you, and don't hurt me, please. All right, thanks so much. Anytime.